Hello? Hi, Gene. Yeah. It's your neighbor. It's Roy. I live over on Drive. This is who? Roy over on Drive. Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Hey, um, do you think you could stop picking up all your leaves and throwing them in our yard? That's weird. Throwing them in your yard? Yeah, you keep picking up all your leaves and just, you know, bringing them over here late at night and throwing them, tossing them in our yard. And, you know, that makes... Somebody said I was doing that? Wait a minute. Well, no, we, we saw you. Can you just not do that again? Because that makes more for us to have to rake up. Hold on. What for? What are you uh, doing? Where are you going? You're, you're put, Hold on. You're putting me on you're, hold? Hold on. You're putting you me... said I threw leaves? I threw leaves in your, your yard? Yeah, well, you're just doing it all the time. You just bring over armfuls of leaves and just toss them in my yard. And Okay, you know what? I'll tell you what. Um, Can you not do that anymore? Listen. Hold on. I'm listening. I'm not throwing... You know what? What? Are you sure you got the right person? Yeah, Gene. Over on <laughs> Drive. We're neighbors. We came over and trick-or-treated. You're the one that had that sign up that said razor blades are a bad thing to put in children's candy. And I thought that was weird. That's that's like we, that. that's weird humor. I live on <laughs> Street? Yes, I know. Okay, you know what? What? Uh, I think um, you got the wrong person. Okay, because um, well, no, you're that's Gene. Kinda style, you're Gene. That's kind of stylish. Listen, um, kind of what? I'm. You know what? I think you got the wrong person. How come? Because they, um, if if you want, you can come over to my house and make sure it's me. Oh, no, we know it's you. Okay. Like, no, it's no big deal. I know you have a lot of trees over there. Can you just please just rake them up yourself? Because it'd be just as easy for you to just rake them up yourself and put them in a bag and not throw them in our yard like that. Okay, you know what? Because I'm like eight I'll houses. I'm eight houses from um, you. I'm right down the street from... I know. I'm like eight houses away. This is weird. Like, that's a lot of work. Okay, well, listen. It's a lot of... I'm on drive. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm on drive. Yeah. I know. And I'm at the end of drive. I know. That's that's like forever. That's a long walk. Why are you okay. throwing all your leaves up here? And you know what? I would never come over and throw leaves in your uh, yard. Maybe what you... Uh, i tell you what. Um... I'm willing enough to meet you in person so you can see that it's not me. Well, no, that's weird. I, I don't really want to meet you. Uh, I just well, I was hoping you, you know could, you could cut, listen, cut that out. Listen, you called me and said I'm throwing leaves in your yard. Yeah, because okay? that's what you were doing. So well, you, you um, stop well, it. You have the wrong person. Who's doing it then? You had the wrong person. I'm going to tell you why. Who's doing it? Is because I don't got time to play kid games. That's, you you know, that's kid stuff. What what are you busy doing? Right? What are you busy doing? Huh? What are you so busy doing that you don't have time for kids games? That's kid games. Throwing leaves in somebody's yard. Right, yeah, I know. But, like, what are you so busy doing that, that you don't have time for kids' games? You what said, am I busy doing? Yeah, you said you're really busy. What are you busy doing? What do you do? What do I do? Hmm, it seems I like you can't answer. I work my house. It seems like you can't I work, an- I work at my house, okay? You know what? I'm man enough to meet you in person because I'll tell you what. It sounds so, like listen, if so you work I at your house, wife, don't you have... Do you know the lady on who has all the garage sales? Oh, that bitch. I can't stand her. But anyway, if like if you work at home, like well, seems look, like you'd have a well, lot of time to, is, to walk listen, over is, here. What, what is your address? 
Uh, I'm on and I know that lady, but I don't live by her. She's way on the other side of the block. Okay, you're on street. That's what you said, right? Well, drive. You're on what? It's a drive, not a street. Okay, you're on Yeah, okay. yeah stop, so, stop bringing your leaves over here and throwing them in our yards. That's weird. No one is... Listen, I'm not bringing nothing over to your house. What am I driving? Did you tell me what I'm bringing them with? No, you, you were just walking all the way up here with armfuls of leaves and throwing them in my, in my yard and in Greg's yard. No. <laughs> no, I'm you sure. You know how crazy that sounds? Listen, you know how crazy that sounds, what you're saying? Well, it's even crazier that you're doing that. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, that's like no. That's a kid's game. No, you know what? I'll tell you something. Whoever gave you my number. It was Nick. How did you get my number? Nick gave it to me. Who? Nick. Nick? Yep. Yes. Nick who? Nick Avocado. Well, you know what? What? I don't know anybody named Nick. Nick Avocado. Can, can you can you say that Nick Avocado? That's his name. Well, I don't know that person. Well, that's okay. a, that's that's something you would say if you're trying to cover up that you're throwing leaves in my yard. I'm not throwing nothing in your yard. Like Nick, I said, Nick Avocado. I'm man enough to meet. Listen, I'm man enough to meet you in person or at the police station. What one you want to do? Well, I don't want to meet you at all. You're like a weirdo that throws leaves in my yard. Uh, you're wrong, okay? And you were you're saying... definitely wrong, because listen, what I do is this, is I do a lot of volunteer work, okay? Where I help people out in this community as well as anywhere else. How is it helpful okay, to throw got, leaves in, in my yard? I don't get it. You, you know what? You got the wrong person. Uh, what is your name? Patalio? How'd you know that? Patalio, right? How'd you know? How'd you know my name was Patalio? It is, isn't it? H how do you know that? How'd you figure that out? Don't worry about it, because you got the wrong person, Patalio. I okay, I'm sorry. I was just kidding around. I'm just joshing with you. It's just a joke. It's, okay, so what's up? What's up? Are I, you interested in bikes or something or what? I don't even know Nick Avocado. He's an internet celebrity. I don't even know that person, okay? Yeah. I was, what's up, man? I was just kidding I around. Know, I was just I sell bikes. joking. Okay. What? Uh-huh. So, so what I do is I buy old bikes. Yeah. And I bring them back to brand new. Well, I don't know if that's considered brand new. That's refurbished. If you try to sell those as brand new, that's fraud. You need to Wrong. sell them, call them refurbished, it's, not brand new, because brand new means they just got built. No, With brand see, new parts. That stuff that you buy, yeah. Well, I tell you what. So don't that don't be listing that, that on the. Today, that stuff you buy today is junk. It's yeah. made by little kids to start with. Okay, that's slave labor and i don't support slave labor well you sound like you're just being an ageist okay you know, now, little kids can put I'm together bikes just as well as you and i can i do all my own work okay they hire underage children Oof. and pay up dirt to put those bikes together now wait, they're they're making their bikes out of game. they're making bikes out of dirt. <laughs> you sound like uh, you're on drugs, sir. No, you know what? Why are you listen? Like I told you, what I tell old classic bikes is what I do. Okay. That's right. that's a nice hobby. Uh, I'm gonna make when more. When I get done with them, listen. When I get okay. done with them, 
they're better than the ones that they sell at the store. Okay, well, and just, that's a fact. just don't, like, when you so, sell them, when you sell them, don't say that they're brand new because that, that, that's considered used. If you're just fixing up old bikes, those are used. Those aren't brand new. That's fraud. Don't say they're brand new, weirdo. Well, you know what? All I'm saying is that... And also, how dare you say that you're you're better bikes. at putting bikes together than a people little kid? Of course you are. They're little kids. Like, don't make fun of little kids just because they don't put bikes together properly. Hey, look. When you've got little kids, uh, you're paying them... Uh, basically nothing in labor to put them together well it's not like they have to pay so, rent they, they don't have rent or 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 you know so an electric bill or that's slave labor is slave labor well, when you're using children but they're paying them bikes. they're paying them okay. they pay them money that's not slave yeah, labor what, that's what, that's paid five labor bucks, five dollars an hour that's the, you know what you know what, you know what the going rate is when, when I build those bikes? when I was a teenager, I only made three dollars and eighty cents an hour. Twenty what? bucks an hour. Well, those, how old are you now? Those kids are doing better than me. I'm like seventy. Well, you know what? That back then, that kind of money was good money back then. Remember, we could buy milk and bread for what ten cents back then. Yeah, but you know the kids, they don't okay. have to buy milk and bread. They don't need well, any money. What do they need money for? Well, you know, we could buy a whole lot of stuff back then for 3 uh 35 or 3.30 an hour. Gene. Okay. Yeah, Gene. But now today our labor is like sky high. Because all the liability and everything else that's going on out there has caused that problem. Oh, but you know, my mom, but, uh, my mom, my mom is taking the phone from me. Hello. Well, then you ain't no seventy years old then. Yes. <laughs> I know. I you? don't think so. But well, what, what do you, the fuck you know, do you think what, this is? You know what? You are hilarious. Okay? Who the fuck You're is hilarious. this? You're hilarious. Why did you call me? What is your problem? Do you have nothing better to what, do? What is your problem? You called me. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. Oh, please do, will you? I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. Go ahead, because you called me. You are a piece of fucking shit. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. You called me, okay? You called me about some leads, okay? Now... You know what? That is so retarded. I've already talked to everybody. They don't know who the fuck you are. Huh? I think you're fucking mentally ill. If anybody's ill, it's you. You can't even hardly probably walk or blow your nose. I'm sure you can't. You know something, the last four years, my house was considered one of the prettiest with a sign in the front in this area. Well, goody, goody. What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. Yeah, right. You try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. I'll see you in jail for harassment. a painted trailer. It's probably a painted trailer painted pink with that says howdy doody on it. I'm going to see you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. Hey, guess what? You Come to the house. Let me show you what my concealed carry looks like. Do you think people are 
stupid to play into your game? Come on over, honey. Stupid. You're just, you know what? You called here just to harass me. My nephew is a sheriff. I'm reporting you to him. I know exactly who this is. Okay? You guys stole the trailer from my backyard six years ago. Okay? I already know. You stole it. Okay? And you got caught. Okay? You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. There is video of you guys stealing a trailer out of my backyard. Okay. If you start your fucking shit again, buddy, my gra- my uh, nephew can trace your number, trailer. even though you're using a burn I phone. my backyard. You stole the trailer from me. I'm not a nice lady, honey. I'm a motherfucking and bitch. And I will rip your fucking you face off and shove it down your throat. Trailer. You stole the trailer out of my backyard. You had no right to take it. Okay. What kind of a Christian plays your fucking game? Give me a break. May God strike you dead, you piece of shit. All the way until six years ago, okay, you stole the trailer that didn't belong to you. I've talked to Richard, Teresa, and the security guard. You stole a trailer from my backyard. I know you did. And... You think because you're wealthy that you can do whatever you want and you're above the law. Well, guess what? You're not above the law and you never will be, okay? So you're not going to give a bad name like you people think you can and keep other cultures out of, okay? That's not going to happen. Because, you see, this is going to turn into a multicultural city, whether you white folks like it or not. Okay? That's too damn bad for you. Okay? I already I told you to once before, my, my nephew my is a deputy sheriff. I already got the I'm first phone number that you called from. I will get America. another phone number from you. you They'll trace you down, and I'm going to see you, you in jail for harassment. That. You stole the trailer that didn't belong to you, and you got caught. Okay? I know how to play the widow bit to the you know full what? extent. People are hip to people like you. You're psychopath. Okay? Also, you sweetheart, I hit the button on my answering machine. <sighs> I got this whole motherfucking so shit. You're recorded, baby. In my backyard. I don't care what you got on your answering machine. You stole the trailer and you no- and you got caught. Okay. I accidentally so hit a button, look, and you're being you recorded, and I'm going to give it to my backyard. nephew. You stole the trailer from my backyard. Return it. That's all you got to do. And all the other and ladies you called truck. also got the look, phone numbers, dummy. We got them on our phone. I don't care what you got. I don't care what you got, Okay. You stole the trailer from my backyard. Return it. That's all you have to do. Okay? Return the trailer. You know, admit that you're wrong. You know, you tried to buy my land from my mom and dad, and they refused to sell you to land. And then you tried to come over, and then you came over to my house, you and your husband and your pickup truck and tried to buy my land from me, too, when you were told no. Okay? I already know who this is. I I am. This is my only day off, and I don't want to deal with a piece of shit like you. Now, I'd love you to come over, sweetheart. Okay? I already know who you are. Uh, yeah, it works, honey. You stole the trailer that you stole. 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 You st
stole the trailer. Okay? Return it. It's simple. It's no big deal. You know, you took it. So return it. Oh, hello, sir. Okay? Sir, hello. Are you there? You stole the trailer from sir. me. So return it. Gene. 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 Look. Gene. You stole the trailer. Return the trailer. Oh, Gene. Everything. Fine. But, no, I was. Okay? I, I wasn't I'm here. Not that, gonna keep. That, that was I'm, my mother. Keep going over this and over this with you. Okay. I, but Gene, you can, stole you, the trailer. can you please listen? You no, know you did. Let me um. Hang return up. the trailer. Hang up, Beverly. Okay, it's hey. Simple. My my mother is no longer on the line. I have hung up on my mother. That was my mother you're talking hey, to. I don't care. Listen, listen. I don't care. Just return my trailer. But you I don't, had no right to take it. Sir, I don't have your trailer. I'm a prank caller. I live in another state from you. I'm over I'm over no, in the No you don't. No, I you stole my trailer. I okay? didn't steal your trailer. I'm just a prank caller. I'm calling from another state. You're not calling from no other state at all. Oh, okay? no. I, I spoofed my caller ID. I made it look like I'm calling from around there, but I'm not. But anyway, I'm confused. Like, were you for or against non-whites moving to your city? I was confused about that part. It sounded You're like... confused about what? Well, it sounded like you were that, for it, but then I, I think you were... That's right. You're, that's right. I am for a multicultural city. Oh, I am too. That's no, good. that's a good you thing. You got a problem with it? No, I don't. That's a, yay. We're on the same team. We're, we're... Well, guess what? You can't have your white lily cotton the way you no, want it. Wait, no, no. I, I said I, I, I am, I am on your side of of this argument. I, I'm not the person you think I am. I didn't steal your trailer. I'm just a prank caller. You ain't no pre caller because you know what? Prank the caller. You name. The streets you named, yeah. don't even try it, okay? Well, no, I looked on Google Maps. I looked don't a, even try it. I looked on Google don't Maps. Even, and I, hey, don't even try to scam your way out of it. Okay. okay? Well, you're the one. You're, you're the one that living back in me. The police contacted you about taking my trailer. Well, you're the one okay? putting leaves in my yard. I'm not putting nothing in your yard. You're, you're bringing never ha have, handfuls of leaves. Never have, never would. Okay, I got other things to do with my time. Like what? Then well, put leaves in somebody's backyard. What? But what other things do you okay? do? So you're wrong. Okay? okay. All right. You're wrong. Flat but, out wrong. Okay. I know who's put. I Sorry. know who's putting the leaves in your yard. Okay. I know exactly who it is. Who? But you know what? It's none of my business to tell you who. Oh come on, please okay. tell me. So so you're not no, doing it, but you know who's you know, what? You know who's I doing it. I want my trailer back. But you know who's I want my trailer back. You know behind you know you who's know you know who's doing this leaf thing. Please, I, I just please tell me who's I'm doing not, it. Look, look, I want my trailer back that you guys took. I didn't take Flat your trailer. Out. I I'm a different yes, person. You guys did. No, I like come on. Do you think someone that steals trailers also makes prank calls? That's a whole different crime. Listen, you guys stole my trailer. No. My name is Roy. I live in eastern Washington. No. This is this is you're you're lying. Please believe me, Gene. You're Jean. gonna have to prove you're gonna have to prove who you are then. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not proving anything. That's because you're the ones that live in back of me and stole my trailer. No, it's because I'm a different person. I'm a prank caller on the opposite side of the country, and I don't care about your trailer. But I hope you get it back. No. I do hope you get it back. I hope those hooligans that you took said your trailer. Your name's Roy. You said your name's Roy. Yes. And you were talking to my mother no. Bev before, and you you cursed well, at her. Well, guess what? I have your telephone number, Roy, because you called me. No, it's like if you call that number back, I don't know who that belongs to. That's just a random phone number. It don't matter. I can. You call called me. What did you want? You called me and told me because you left a message. Yeah. And you said, uh. This is Roy. I live down the street from you. 
Did I? That's I don't, all you said. I don't remember saying that, but you know it's possible because well, look, Nick, I Nick, got you on tape. On tape. Look, Nick. Yeah. Nick sends me a lot of numbers, so it's possible he sent me your number twice. Who sends you a lot of numbers? Uh, n- n- Nick Avocado Avocado. He's an internet celebrity. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. Look it up on Google. Do you not have the internet, sir? No, I don't believe <sighs> you. See, you should get the internet, and it'll open up your world. You know, you can get on maps, and you can look up people's neighborhoods and other other states, and you can make prank calls to them. No, uh-huh. I think you're the people that live in my live in the back, and you got caught. The back of what? Look, you name streets right here. And I can name. Okay, ev- okay look, I'm going to name every street in your neighborhood. Miles, I'm reading off of a map on the internet. Right Drive. Uh, it looks like what there's. What do you a- want, that Roy? I was just prank what calling you, you. I was prank calling you. The prank is you're throwing leaves in my yard, but you didn't fall for it. You know it's a prank. So we got to just, it's just got to be over now. It's the prank's all finished. So, so who is this really? Uh, my name yeah. is, my name is Brad Carter. I'm a prank caller from uh, the Northwest side of the, the United States. Brad? Yeah, Brad Carter. Brad Carter. World famous prank caller. I go by Katie K. My prank call name is Katie K. KDKPrankCalls.com. Well, how did you get my telephone number? Uh, Nick Avocado sent it to me. Okay, who is that then? He's an internet celebrity. <laughs> Gene, I really have to go. I'm exhausted. Huh? I, I really have to go. I, you know, I got other people to prank call. I, I, I have a whole list of numbers here that I have to prank call all of these people before the day's over. Before the day's over? Yeah, it's my job. So, so, this is for, uh, all right, I'll tell you what. You said, okay, then what's my address? And, and well, uh, what street do I live well, on? I, I think I had it wrong because I said you lived in, on, see, that, I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. And you said you live on right. Well, you know what? My family did live on... Oh, see? See, that's how. Like, we looked it up on the internet, and it just came up with your name for some reason. We we, so, we, we were wrong. Okay, but see, now... My prank call were, is falling apart. Okay, you had the right family and everything. Yeah. Okay. yeah that, that just happens with Nick. Nick's kind of a fuck-up. So... So yeah, I didn't steal your trailer. So, I, I, I so, live I live in the faraway land of, of Oregon. Oh okay. Yeah. So in other words so in other words, you do that stuff like uh what's his name? Uh who was married to uh what you call it's wife. Elvis? That did Huh? Elvis? No, what's that young uh Curse Christian something. Let me ask my dad. Hold no. on. Dad! Dad! Hello. You know, the guy that married, uh, what's the call his wife, did all those movies. Oh, okay. The guy that did Die Hard. Remember the guy that did Die Hard? Pee Wee Herman? Hi, how are you? Oh, you know the guy that uh, did okay. Die Hard. Yeah. What's the- his name? Um, is, is, is Real it... Real famous actor. Oh, was yeah. married. Of course. Of course. Um, yeah, Brad Pitt. No, he didn't do, uh, Die Hard. Oh, oh, you're Die Hard. You're talking about John Travolta. No. No, the guy that made all the Die Hard movies. Oh, that Ke- was the Kevin, Kevin Smith. No. Oh, he's in no, one of them. No, he's he, real famous. He's in he one of them. Married to the model. 
the model. Oh, are you talking about Chris, Kristen Shaw? Who? Kristen Shaw. No. Oh, the Die Hard you know, guy that was married no, to. No, the, the name of his movies. Listen. Oh, the di- name of his movies were called Die Hard. Oh, like, that was that was Stephen Die Hard. No. Stephen Die Hard from, no. from Canada. Uh, He's a Canadian actor. No. No, this guy is real famous. Sir. I can't think of his name. I do not have time for your kids' games. This call's been going on for 30 minutes. That's, you know what? I'm not t- playing no kids' games. This is a kids' So, in other words. Die Hard movies are okay. kids' games. So, in other words, you are uh, like one of those shows, right, that they have on TV. Yeah. Like, like Fish Tank. Yeah, but we're on TBS. We're on we're on WTBS, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, with Conan. We're on the air with Conan. You're on the air right now. Huh? You're on the air. You're on television. Turn on channel seventeen. Yeah, channel seventeen. <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on one hundred point okay. nine, the Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. 17. Slamming is what uh-huh. we do best. To hear your call and to hear yourself get totally slammed, tune in every weekday morning at eight thirty and ten thirty to hear the daily Does butt slam. Kind of After this pre-recorded have? message, you'll be transferred to one of our jockeys who will get your permission to air. Or no, Gene, Gene. Yeah. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>